Welcome to a quick review on um, cycling computers. Alright, so most people go with the Garmin. I had a Garmin, didn't like it, actually I lost it. So we'll go through all of them. I've got my little Brighton, Brighton, and my Wahoo here. And, well, the Garmin's gone, unfortunately, so, well, can't really do anything with that. But, we can, I did use it, so I had the 520, this is the 530 Brighton, Brighton, and this is the Wahoo Element Bolt. So, Garmin 520, my thoughts on it, pretty average battery life, six hours with maps, and it's struggling. Um, it records stuff, probably the best recording out of any of them. I had an out front mount, worked perfect with the stages. Calibration was good. It had quite a nice feature. So when, when you were like low on battery on a power meter, it would like flash up. Um, calibration for the ride, it asked you. Maps were all right, but quite a hassle because if you do that open street map thing, didn't really like that. Didn't rate it at all, to be honest. Um, much prefer um, the other methods. Um, apart from that, I mean, it's Garmin. Like I didn't really have any problems that everyone else seems to have with like it breaking the whole time or like. I don't know, people seem to like crash or whatever. I mean, I just thought the battery life wasn't great. I wasn't planning on replacing it, um, but I lost it, so I had to buy a new one. So I went with the Brighton. Uh, German Rider rep recommended it, and some other people had it. What do I think of the Brighton? Well, it's quite a good unit. Like, it's quite basic. Um, we can turn it on. The firmware is pretty dodge on it. Um, like, it does the job. It has an incredibly long battery life, which is pretty good. It has TSS. It has most of the training scores. It doesn't have things like Garmin How, which are like VO2 max estimator and all that bollocks, but I don't really use that very much. So you can see that's the main page that we have on it. And if you scroll down the pages, it's got useful things, but it's not it's not incredible. The main reason why I got my <laughs> element, basically, I, I am going to return this at some point. Um, it just literally doesn't connect with my power meter very well at all. Even when I had it on the stem, um, it just still was quite rubbish, um, and I just feel like the firmware is not great. It was also really bad at recording just after you accelerate, and obviously when I live in London, um, I'm not in London at the moment, but it's like really important that it catches all your accelerations, because otherwise your power is completely gone, because the amount of times you stop at a traffic light is so many. So I didn't like it for that reason, and I think the mapping isn't great, because it basically just doesn't have maps. Um, and so it just has like a breadcrumb thing. And like there's sort of little problems. Like if you want to calibrate your power meter halfway through, you just can't do it. You have to stop a ride. And that's just like a bit annoying. Like it's not a deal breaker necessarily, but there's just slight nuances where they just haven't really thought about it enough to in order to for it to work properly. Um but like it can record power and heart rate. And I feel like if you're not don't care that much about like precise power, like obviously you care about power, but if you don't care about the like some microseconds where it might miss it. Um, but in like a crit, having said that, it was good at some points. It sort of depended on loads of different things if it recorded good data. Um, but if you just have heart rate, uh, or your power meters has quite a strong um, signal because stages is quite weak, I definitely get it, especially if you're doing long, long rides. That's why I brought it here because, and it's incredibly cheap. That's the other thing. It's 130, oops, it's 130, I think, um, pounds. It's 130 pounds, which is quite beautiful. Uh, the Garmin's like 250 or something, or 225. It's quite expensive. All right, so we'll move on to my little element bolt. So this is quite a beaut, quite a beaut unit. Very aero, got the little thing. I can't use it because it doesn't connect with my power meter because it's too far away. All this, I don't even understand. Anyway, but it works relatively well apart from that. It has like TSS and all the normal power training units. It doesn't have like the nice Garmin thing like um, VO2 estimator, um, but it. Its maps are incredible because you can literally download any country on the mobile app. The setup is really easy because you literally just use the app. There's no fiddling around typing. So you can set up multiple pages um, really quickly, which is nice. It also has a really good app integration because you literally just click a place you want to go and then it just redirects you, sends it to the element, and you can just go. It also connects to Wi Fi. Both of these connect with Wi Fi, which is very useful um, because it means you can connect directly to. Um, directly to your Wi-Fi and it's a lot faster uploads. The other thing is this Bluetooth uploads are rubbish on here, so I don't use that. If I if I didn't have Wi-Fi, I'd just set up a mobile hotspot and just do it from Wi-Fi. Across the Brighton, it's way faster than um, Bluetooth. Um, the Wahoo also has like um, Garmin segments, which is the same with the um, sorry Strava segments, which is the same with the Garmin, but I don't use those if I'm going for a Strava segment. It has weird interface um, on the on the screen, so you can see here. 
the, basically this this one does the pages oh no sorry that doesn't the pages is this button here and you like scroll through the pages but if you want to scroll through the pages you can't use these buttons on the side here these like zoom in or zoom out what it's showing it's just really weird I don't really understand that why they thought that would be a good idea but maybe people who like to have loads of data screens and then compress but I just prefer having them on different ones it's got a very good battery life better than the Garmin 520 I charge this probably once or twice a week and that's fine I do 15, 20, 15 hour a week so it's, it's pretty chill um, so what else to say about it it just records power it just works um, I haven't really had any problems there haven't been massive power spikes sometimes if it's a bit dodgy recording then it will like miss it and then it will get the cadence no and then it will like miscalculate the cadence and then think you did like 1800 watts which is really annoying but it doesn't really do that that much which is very nice the Brighton did do that quite a lot so I'd get so I decided to buy this I got it for 180 but you can probably get it for like 180 170 which is only like 20 or 30 pounds more than the Brighton I'd say it's better than the Brighton um if you're like wanting it for races definitely get it it's a lot better than the Brighton for races but obviously battery life isn't as good um, I mean the aero gains. I mean it's, like, it's a bit, a bit embarrassing if you're if you're gonna buy it for that justification. But it just works. The app integration is really good, like really really good. There's only one thing which you can't set alarms on it, which is a bit annoying because on the Garmin you can say like every ten minutes have an alarm. Um, but the thing is, I feel like they could bring it in. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the Who. I'm sort of annoyed that I lost my Garmin in the first place. So I don't really want to replace it, but I've now gone through, had pretty much all three of the main ones. Um, I need to send this back, actually. They said they would do it, but I just haven't been bothered. But it's sort of nice to have it, but I don't really use it, so I, I need to get rid of it. Or just sell it on eBay or something. Um, because the thing is, these the units don't decrease in price too much, so it's not too bad if you have multiple ones. Um, the only ones I, I'm trying to think, I haven't tried an SRM, but those are pretty useless. Pioneer. The giant Neos is pretty much the same as the Brighton, and the Polar, I don't know, I've never tried a Polar to be honest. Um, what are your favourite GPS units? I mean, I think the Wahoo Element Bolt, that's my recommendation for pretty much everyone. I think it's the best one, it's pretty light, just does the trick, very good app integration. Um, so cheers for watching, hope you could gain something from this, hope you realise that Garmin's are good but overpriced. Wahoo's are basically the best, best of both, and Brighton's great if you can do like long long rides where you don't want to charge it i recommend steve abraham get one but he hasn't replied yet um he's doing the like world world record challenge for distance and he keeps having to charge his garments like just get a brighton then you wouldn't need to charge it i just don't really understand his thinking maybe he's sponsored by garmin i don't know but anyway cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next vid